all of the kelp that is harvested out of these cold, clean Maine waters is brought back here. This is where it's processed. Let's go inside. So we're here in the Atlantic Sea Farms processing facility in our snazzy blue outfits. So tell us what's going on behind us. So today we're working on wraps, which is a specific product for chefs. It's a product that we take very carefully off the farm of sugar kelp, a big, wide leaf. Then we blanch it, which turns it a bright green and slowly wrap it. So it's a very high-end product that's for high-end chefs that are using it to wrap fish or chicken or things like that. On other days, we bring in a bunch of strap kelp, which we send through the shredder, spits out a bunch of shredded kelp that kind of keeps it this really fine texture. Then we blanch it through our mechanical blanching machine, and then we pack it up and ready to go, either for fermentation, raw, without the blanching, or for our ready-cut kelp, which is the defrost and eat seaweed product that we have. And so do the two different kinds of kelp taste different? Why are you cultivating two kinds? They actually taste no different at all, um, but the texture for both our seaweed salad, our sichi, our kraut, and our ready cut is really wonderful with that strap kelp. The sugar kelp has just a little kind of more beautiful look to it if we're using it for the whole leaf. And it has more expanse too, so if you're wrapping a large fish, you can kind of wrap it around that. And so what they're doing is they're taking the stem. What is the stem called? The stem is called the stipe. Which has this hollow area in the middle. And I had a chance to taste some of this. It's just super crunchy. It's super crunchy. It's delicious. And maybe I'll grab one for you here. Okay. Here's the blanched stipe. You see how it turns green when it hits the hot water? Yes. Isn't that unbelievable? It's so cool. But this is what it looks like when it comes out of the farm and it has a little bit of a hole there. So, I mean, it works great for straws and alternative use for straws, but a lot of chefs will blanch it themselves because we actually sell it raw, mm -hmm. and then chop it up into a scallion type thing. So you might not even know if it's on your plate, but it's nice and crunchy. It adds a nice salty crunch flavor to it. So the season for kelp is really interesting. This active part really only takes place, what, three months a year? That's right, so we start harvesting in the beginning of April and we're done in the middle of June. So it's actually faster than that. It's long days for three months, especially for the harvesters who are out there first thing in the morning. Last year we processed 20,000 pounds of kelp, this year 350,000 pounds. So, you know, our ultimate goal is, great, the more we can actually sell of this, the more farmers we can get in the water or the farmers we have can expand and make a viable income. It's such a win-win because you're creating new economic opportunity here in Maine. You're diversifying what these farmers are able to do. It's environmentally beneficial, and it's creating new opportunities for chefs. That's like, right. it's a product that they couldn't really get a hold of before. Never, never. They're like, fresh seaweed? That's amazing, I've never worked with that. 